So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our combination lesson. And this is that combination where what Mercury and Moon are doing together, what Jupiter and Moon will do together. That will come that will come later. First, you have to understand, when you see a chart, what are you looking at first to make a combination? Because Nandi Nadi is all about combination. It's all about combination. So, we're going to kind of like repeat from the previous video, but then we're going to go into the more complicated things like retrograde planets within the conjunction or within the combinations that we're making. How are we going to study them? So the first thing you want to study is conjunction and trine, which is the same thing. That's why I put one and one B because this is the first and then you have the triangle Phi and not. You're studying a planet, but this first, this is exactly what the planet is going to deal with. And the Above even this, the first question that you want to ask is why and what? Why am I looking at this combination and what am I looking at? You can't just make a combination and just say something, although you will be able to once you know Nandinari. But why is what is the purpose of the com uh, co uh, this making of combination? Okay, so the purpose could be, let's say, to leave. Okay, that's my first thing. Why? Why are you coming to me? You're coming to me for a career. What am I going to look for? What am I going to look for before I even jump into this? So, well, it's career, right? That means we're going to look at who? Saturn. Why and what is more? If you don't get this, Nadi astrology is going to feel like a rocket science to you. But if you master these two questions, why and what, now you will start to see things come alive. So then when we say why and what, now we're going to look for conjunctions and trying. And then we're going to look for 212, so imagine I am Saturn. Here's two, here's 12. These are the planets, grahas that are surrounding me. This is kind of like becomes my neighbors, my social circle. You're going to see what this Saturn is always constantly going to be surrounded by. 12th for me is the skill that I'm already bringing for my profession. That I have already experienced. Maybe Ketu is 12th from my Saturn. I have already gotten the knowledge of uh, occult and astrology. Somehow I'm always going to be attracted towards occult and astrology. Second to me is Jupiter. I'm moving towards Jupiter, which is what? Teaching. Counseling. Advising. That means my profession has taken this natural skill of astrology... And now I'm going to move towards teaching, which is Jupiter. This is 212. Okay. And this comes later after you have seen the trine. And then this one becomes the last thing you'll ever use. If you cannot find anything here, or I should make it more uh, green. If you cannot find anything with combination 1, 1B, one and 2, okay, then you move to 3 aloud. If you have found your combination with conjunction, trying, and 212, no need to go for 311. That is it. You stop right there and you say something as to why and what. So now let's make a chart. This is our basic Aries Ascendant chart. This is not Pachakra. We're going to study Pachakra later on. I'll show you what Pachakra is. But this is your 
basic chart. So now we're looking at what, right? Saturn. Saturn is here. I see a chart then I see Saturn. The question is about profession. What should I be doing for my profession? Okay. So I look at Saturn. The first eyes are going to be, is there any planet conjunct to Saturn? There isn't. Second, I'm going to see if there's any planet trying from Saturn. This trying. Well, there could be Mars here. And there could be Rahu here. Okay. So now I know. So the very first thing that I would do is in my head, I would make this combination. But also for that, I will see which degree these planets are in. Saturn, let's say, is at 5 degrees. Mars is at 10 degrees. Rahu is at 20 degrees. And Rahu Ketra all this retrograde, so we're not using this retrograde scenario here. It is just, it's in the 6th house, it's in Virgo, Mars is in Taurus, Saturn is in the 10,000 Leo. Okay, so now in my head, I'm going to make this combination. Saturn plus Mars plus Rahu. This is the very first thing. So Saturn is profession. So this individual for profession is going to have to have technical skills and knowledge. Either engineering or dealing with some machinery. They're going to need a technical skill, technical knowledge. Okay. Then we see, after this, Saturn then meets Rahu. Saturn then meets Rahu. It's not Saturn, Mars meeting Rahu. We're making step-by-step -step combination. Saturn met Mars first. Degrickle it. Then it meets Rahu, meaning after this person completes their focus on engineering and technology, they're also now going to be meeting Rahu that, hey, perhaps your engineering knowledge should also have knowledge of softwares. And at the same time, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to now go to four lands for your profession. This is how I made this combination. Now, go to, let's go to the second part. Now I see that Jupiter is here. Okay. And I see Moon is here. Since I have met this combination first, I already know what this profession is going to be for this person. Now we can start adding on other shades of paint. Now I am going to be like, well, Yes, you should be gaining technical education and then you will go to foreign lands to work. But at the same time, you are going to prefer to well send any planet is what you prefer. You're going to prefer traveling. And you're also going to be interested in teaching. But what are you going to be interested in teaching? Well, this is the main combination we focused on. You're going to be interested in teaching technology, engineering, and you're going to want to travel. This is, these two planets are not becoming part of this combination. Simple. Now let's get a little bit complicated. Okay. Let's make another chart. Saturn, Mars, Rahu, Moon, okay, and then Jupiter. Profession, the question is still about profession. Now let's make it a little bit complicated. I want to see which, which will be more complicated. Okay, 
let's do this. We'll make Jupiter retrograde. And since we know, let's put our degrees in. Five degrees. Okay. And then we'll put 10 degrees here. We'll put 18 degrees here. We'll put um, 13 degrees here. So my very first, my very first thing is what? Looking for conjunction. Is there a conjunction here? Then the second thing would be, is there any trines? If I found that, that's my very first thing. So in this scenario, we have a conjunction. Because retrograde Jupiter is going to behave like it's in the 10,000 Capricorn. That, and Jupiter is at 13 degrees, right? So Jupiter is, we're going to be putting Jupiter here. Jupiter at 13 degrees. So now, we're going to imagine that this Jupiter no longer exists. It is retrograde. It is with Saturn. So now in this combination, what I'm doing is I'm going to make this combination. I'm going to take the lowest degree planet first, right? Mars plus Saturn plus Jupiter plus Rahu. Now I got this combination going. So what is now happening? If we're, and again, question, never forget why and what? Why are you coming to me? You're coming to me for career. Then what am I looking at? I'm looking at Sar. So let me actually erase this and let's put this. This is the start. This is the start of our combination. Sad. And I made this combination. I would know this person is already bringing skills, technical skills with them. Interest in construction, interest in land. Then it shows because of this um, combination, because of this previous life skills, this person is going to find expansion and prosperity in their career. And once that expansion and pro uh, expansion and prosperity happens, they will also be going to a foreign place in their life. And they will also be using new age technology for their profession. Whether this person uh, gets some more knowledge related to softwares. For example, I have Ramu skills. I'm using softwares. I use Parashar Lent. To, do, to use my astrology, I'm using softwares. So, Rahu is being connected. But Rahu can also show that, yeah, I need to learn so maybe some, perhaps some kind of a coding or some kind of a, a training to really understand the complication of the software because some softwares are very complicated. Like, you know, people who make deep fake. It looks really easy. Oh, they put Arnold Schwarzenegger face instead of De Niro's face. It's not just like cut and paste, cut and paste. There has to be pro programming involved. So those that are be involved, but we see that it's going to be in four lines and Rahu is vast. Rahu is expansion. So we see that this person is going to look to just expand everything. They're going to want to be the biggest developer or the biggest engineer in their life. There's more to these combinations which we'll get later. This is not about what this means. This is simply about how to make a combination. Okay. So we found this. Let's make it other one. 